Hi everyone, welcome. I am Crystal and this is part one of the Halloween spider cowl. Now this is an amigurumi and um, these are the items that you'll need. You will need some polyfill to stuff the head. You will need four of the eight or nine millimeter safety eyes in any colors that you wish. Um, I'm doing two different colors, so four of the blue, two of the green. Now, the green ones are bigger. They are 12 millimeter safety eyes. Um, you will need six of these uh, stitch markers. It's to mark the eyes. Uh, where the safety eye would go uh, on each round so we can get past that round and, and still know where to put them. You will need some scissors, your crochet hook, the yarn, and a scrap piece of yarn of a contrasting color for the mouth. Um, so this is Mainstay's 100% acrylic yarn in orange. And this is what I'm going to be using today for the spider. So, here we go. Round one. Alright, so we're going to make a magic ring. And how I like to do this is I take my finger and my thumb and pinch the yarn. Spread out my pointer and middle finger come around in front of this yarn and then wrap it over and crosswise so it makes an X. You're going to take your crochet hook, go under the first one, grab that second one, pull it out, and twist to where it makes a loop. You're going to grab your working yarn and pull it through and snug it down a little. Now what I like to do, and it makes it easier to get into the stitch is, for the next round, is I chain one. I don't count this. Uh, so technically it looks like two chains, but... It's, to me, it's not. So, we are going to start with five single crochets into the magic ring. There's one. Two. Three, four, and five. You want to slide them over to cinch them up. And what I like to do is not let them cross, but just hang separate and snug it down. All right, so... Now, this is where I was talking about the chain one at the beginning. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. That looks like a chain, but it's not. So we're going to go in this first stitch right there. And we're going to join them. I should have told y'all I do my amigurumi with slip stitches and joins uh, and chain one. So that is round one. Alright, so get your row counter and change to two. Alright, so for round two we are going to put two single crochets in each stitch. So you should have five stitches from the beginning. We're going to go back into that stitch where we slip stitch. So that's your first single crochet of the row. 
and we're going to put two single crochets in each stitch around. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one stitch left. Nine and ten. All right, so we're going to go into this first stitch here. Slip stitch. Now I'm going to show you all a little trick that I like to do for my, my uh, joined rounds. Is when you slip stitch, I like to tighten this little slip stitch here until it's almost barely noticeable. And then chain one. Because then you won't get that right there confused with a stitch. All right, so round three, we are going to do one single crochet in that first stitch, and then two in the next stitch. So this is our increase. And that's what we're going to repeat for this round. One in the next stitch. And then two in the next. One in the next. And then two in the next. One. And then two in the next. Two stitches left, so one in the next, and two in the last one. And you should have 15 total stitches around now. Go ahead and slip stitch, tighten it down, and chain one. Okay, now we're at row four. So not much different than the last row. It's just going to be one, one, and then two. So one in the first stitch. One in the next. And then two in the next stitch. And that's what we're going to do around. One in that stitch, one in the next, and then two in the next. One. One. And two. And if it curls up on you, just kind of straighten it out a little bit. One. One. And then two. You should have three stitches left, so last ones. One. One. And in the last stitch, two. Okay, slip stitch into your first stitch, tighten it down, and chain one. All right, so you should have 20 single crochets now for round four. Round five. Kind of similar, same thing. <laughs> 
we are going to do one single crochet times three. So one, 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 and then two. Yes. All right. So one in your first stitch, one in the second stitch, one in the third stitch, and two in the fourth. One, 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 and two. All right, one, one. one and two in the next one 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 and two in this one Okay, you should have four stitches left. One, 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 and two in the last. All right, so at the end of round five, you will have 25 stitches. Now, before we join, we are going to mark our first two eyes. All right. So grab your stitch markers. And we are going to count 12 stitches from the beginning of the round. So from this side where you would join it, you're going to count 12 over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So it's this stitch right there. But what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the bottom where you're not blocking that stitch so you can still get for the next round you can still crochet into it but it will be that stitch all right so that's number 12 and then number 17 so 13 14 15 16 and 17 so we're going to place it in the bottom of the crochet. All right, so there is where your first two eyes will go. All right, now we are ready for round six. But first, we are going to slip stitch. Don't forget to tighten it down and chain one. All right. So for round six, we are just going to keep doing like we did increasing. So we're going to do four single crochets in a row and then two. One, two, three, and four, and then two in the next stitch. All 
All right, again, four in a row. One, two, three, and four. Now two in the next. Again, one, two, three, and four, two in the next stitch. And that is what we're going to repeat. Four one single crochet in the next four stitches and then two in the next and i'll meet you at the end we're also going to mark uh, the next set of eyes all right so i made it to the end and we are going to mark uh, for row six we're going to mark the next set of eyes and it is also going to be stitch 12 for the first one so go ahead and Start in your first single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So go ahead and put it in the bottom where you're not blocking the stitch. All right, so that's twelve. And the next one for this side will be the twenty second stitch. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And there we go. All right. Um, I don't know if I said how many stitches you were supposed to have, but you're supposed to have 30. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and slip stitch and chain one. This is row seven. All right, so row seven, we are going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches and then two in the next. One, two, three, four, and five, and then two in the next one. And that's what we're going to repeat around. One, two, three, four, and five, and then two in the next. And I'll meet you uh, at the end. All right, I made it to the end of round seven. You should have 35 stitches. So we are going to mark the last of the eyes. So this row is going to be uh, stitch number 16. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So it should look something like that. This should almost be in the middle. 
All right, so 16 and 23. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. All right, so we're going to join. Row eight. So this is going to be our last increase row. And we are going to do six single crochets, then two. So one in each of the next six stitches and then two in the next. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two stitches in the next one. And that's what you're going to repeat. So let's do that one more time. One and one single crochet in the next six stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six, two in the next stitch. And I'll meet you back at the end of the round. All right, so I made it to the end of round eight and you should have 40 uh, stitches now. So we are going to slip stitch and chain one. Now row nine through 14. So for the next six rows, we are going to put one single crochet in each stitch and about two rows after we uh, so on, after you finish round 10, um, we are going to put the safety eyes in. So very easy. Next six rows, you just put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And you should have 40 stitches on each of the next uh, rows, 9 through um, 14, still 40 stitches. All right, so I'm going to finish row 9 and row 10, and then I'll come back and we'll put the safety eyes in. All right, so I've made it to row 11 and we are going to put the safety eyes in. So the big ones are going to go on these at the top. So find your stitch. And 
and then uh, we'll take the the safety uh, not safety pen stitch marker we'll tighten that safety eye up once the stitch marker is out so once you have your eye in there you can take that stitch marker out and then tighten down that snap a little more and do that with the other one and just do the one and then take the stitch marker out and then tighten it down and there's the first two all right now the ones on the bottoms will be the smaller eyes same thing Sometimes you can't get them to go down a little further, but it's all right. Last two. All right, and the eyes are in. All right, so continue doing one single crochet in each stitch uh, for rows 12, 13, and 14, 11, 12, 13, and 14, I'm sorry. Um, rows 11 through 14 and I'll meet you on row 15. All right, so we are on row round 15 and you should still have 40 stitches around. Now for round 15, we are going to do one single crochet in, in over six stitches and then a decrease. So in your first stitch, do a single. And one single crochet in the next five. So that's two, three, four, And a total of six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a decrease. So that's going to be over two single crochets. I do an invisible decrease. Now, just in case you are not familiar with that, do you see the little V here? You are going to insert your hook and you're going to pull up that 
you're going to go in between the two V's. Yarn over and pull a loop through just that front loop. Then you're going to go into the next stitch in between, pull up a loop, and you should have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three. That's an invisible decrease. So we are going to do one single crochet in the next six, two, three, four, five, and six, and a decrease. So go in between the stitch, yarn over and pull a loop up, go in the next stitch, in between the stitches, and yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three. All right, again, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and now a decrease. And that is what you're going to do for this round. And I'll meet you at the end. Alright, so I'm at the end. I'm going to slip stitch. Chain 1. And we are going to start row 16. It's still very similar to the last row. Um, we're going to do five single crochets and then a decrease. So one, two, three, four, and five, now a decrease. One more time. One, two, three, four, and five, and a decrease. Now, if you are having a problem with this next stitch being too big, what you can do is try to keep as much slack out of it. So pull as much as you can and try not to move it too much. And it will make this one a little less open or you can tighten it down if you want. One, two, three, four, five, decrease. All right, I'm almost to the end. Repeat it two more times. I'll just stay with you. One, two, three, four, and five, and a decrease. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and 
a decrease. Slip stitch. Chain one. For 16, you should have 30 stitches now. All right, now we are on row 17, our last row. And this is going to change up slightly. Um, still, you know, decreasing here, but this is our last round. So we are going to do one single crochet in, in the next three stitches and then a decrease. So go in your first stitch, one, two, and three. Now a decrease. One, two, three, decrease. One, two, three, decrease. And that's what we're going to repeat around, and I'll meet you at the end. All right, so I made it to the end of round 17. We are going to slip stitch. And what I like to do is chain one, tighten it down, and then snip my yarn. Now you want to leave a long enough tail to sew to the body. So what I like to do is I pull out enough yarn to wrap around the head almost twice and then cut it. So I make sure I have enough and then just pull your tail through, tighten it up, and the head is done. This will uh, sew to the body. So now what we need to do is we are going to make the fangs and sew on the mouth and sew the fangs on. All right, so it's time to make the fangs, and you're gonna need to start with a slip knot. Um, and there's so many different ways, but the way I like doing it is it slides the slip knot on the working yarn side instead of this tail side. So that's what I'm gonna do. So you take it and pinch it in between your finger and your thumb, take your two fingers, and wrap the yarn, bring them in front, grab your working yarn from back here, and grab the working yarn and pull through. See, and that allows it to slide on this side. We will need a little bit longer of a tail uh, to sew on, so I don't know, about eight inches. So, I'll show you how I do that again. Like that. All right, so these are going to be very short uh, and quick, and you need to make two. 
because spiders have two fangs. <laughs> At least I hope all of them do. <laughs> all right, so we are going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we are not going to be working into the side of the stitch here. We are going to work into these bumps on the back. You are going to skip the one right where the working yarn is. You're going to skip that one completely and go into the second one. And if you have trouble getting your hook in there, um, if you hold that stitch and pull it onto the crochet hook, that helps. All right, so there's one, kind of like this. Two. four five and the last one six all right actually on the last one For the last stitch, take your working yarn and your tail and pull them both through the stitch if you're able. Or do it one at a time. Like that. And then go back in. And get your working yarn. And make sure you leave enough of a tail. Pull both of them. And you'll see that little knot right there. Make sure both of these tighten down around it. And it makes this end kind of pointed. And if you want, you can tie a small knot at the end. And try to keep it as close as you can to the crochet. like this even up the tails and there we have the first fang I'll show y'all uh, how to sew them on let me make the second one all right, so I have made both the fangs and you need to take your yarn needle, make sure you get both of those tails on there. Okay, so what we are going to do Look at this outside eye and count three stitches down and insert it into the head and pull all 
the way out. And you'll want that knot that we tied to go through the crochet. And you'll hear that pop in, in there. Then what we are going to do, and you want to make sure the outside of the crochet is facing out like this. Sorry, my light died on my phone. So what we were going to do is going to kind of weave this end in. So go through any single crochet stitch, but try to go the same direction as the stitch. So the yarn is going this way. Try to keep with that. And you might have to pull one more than the other, but make sure it's kind of flat and looks like part of the stitch. And if you pull too much, uh, just push it back out and do that several times. in different directions. And then um, if you want, you can go the other direction as long as you're keeping with the crochet and pull it and just shove the tail in. So there's the first one connected. And it does kind of adjust. You can move it around if you want, you know. All right, so now for the next one, it's going to be the same concept, just on the other side. Three stitches below the outside eye. And you want to kind of go in the middle. So I would go with this row. So one, two, three. Kind of eyeball it and make sure it looks about even. And pull until you hear it pop into place. So many tails that get all intertwined. All right. And just go through the crochet like the other side a couple of times, securing it. All right, now that we got that on, we are going to try to shove all these excess tails in there and we're gonna stuff the head slightly. All right, so just grab you some stuffing. What I like to do before I start pushing it into the head is kind of work work it a little flatter 
and just kind of push it in. Now, when stuffing amigurumi, you do not want to overstuff it. That's also what causes the holes when you can see the stuffing because it's overstuffed. But you do want it kind of firm so it's not just smushing flat. And you try to stuff it in there and wiggle it around, push it down, pack it in. But you don't want to just take a whole big ball and just shove it in. It'll also make it lumpy. That's also why I do this beforehand. Okay, I think that's all that I'm going to add because we will add a little later on. And if it looks a little odd, kind of roll it around. All right, now we got to do the smile. All right, I said the smile, I mean mouth. So what we want to try to do is get in between. I sewn this one on a little bit uh, more out. Oh, well, it should have gone one row under. Oh, well. Um, don't make that mistake, but, all right, so you want to try to get right about one, two, three, your fourth row, go in on the fifth, so one, two, three, and four, so you're going to go in at an angle down here, upward. Now, from here, you're going to go to about the middle on that same row, so right about there, and try to come out even as there. And then from there, you're going to work your way back over and go back into the same spot where you went in over here. And back through there. And up over that way. And it causes a little smile. Now you are going to go straight across and come out on that side. You're going to make the little line and then go in and then come out anywhere underneath. Might want to reshape.
And now we are going to hide the tails. And you are just going to do that by going into the same stitch and through the crochet and just the stuffing. And then push the tail in and do that with the same one over here. Go back into the same one you came out. And it's gone. It's now you gotta hide this one. And the head is done. Now, if you want to uh, starch the little fangs, you can. But there is the head. And this week's part one tutorial is done. Next week, I will show you how to make the body and legs. So... I hope you'd enjoy this, and if you are taking part in this crochet along, at the end of it, make sure you send me a picture of your finished spider. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day. See you next week.